by somebody in a par party. Party. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with my most anticipated reads for March. I'm trying to pick books that a lot of the other booktubers aren't going to talk about because I feel like a lot of the big popular booktubers talk about the exact same books. So I figured I would try to find some that aren't as popular. I chose seven that I'm actually super excited to get to. I'm hoping that I actually read them because knowing me, I read the non-popular books. So hopefully I will read one book that's actually popular this month. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> My first book is actually one of the popular books. But I mean, I couldn't pass it up because it sounds so good. And it is Rebel of the Sands by Owlin Hamilton. I'm probably saying her first name wrong, I'm sorry, but your last name is awesome because that's where I live, so. The book involves a young girl named Amani who is competing in this shooting competition and she's trying to get out of Dustwalk, which is the town she lives in. I believe that is kind of like a romance thing, but it also has like action thrown in there as well, so it sounds like it could be pretty interesting. And the cover though, like, it's gorgeous, so I had to include it because who doesn't want a book that's golden? It's supposed to release March 8th. So I will probably not get it then because Jay is cheap, but I'll probably end up reading it sometime in the future. second book that I am anticipating a lot is Burning Glass by Catherine Purdy. It sounds so cool. It's about a girl named Sonia and she is able to feel the emotions of other people around her and she can feel them both emotionally and physically. One day her gift is discovered and she is captured and is told that she is going to be the protector of the emperor. She isn't able to completely control her powers yet because she just discovered them. So she doesn't know if she's actually going to be a help to the emperor or actually put him in danger. And it's supposed to come out March 1st. So I'm probably, again, not going to get to it for a very long time, but I want it so badly. The third book I'm not going to talk a lot about because it is a third book in a trilogy, and that is Half Lost by Sally Green. I recently read Half Wild, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm very much looking forward to the third book because I want to know what happens to Nathan and Gabriel because I love them, and I really just want to know what goes on between those two. It's supposed to release March 29th and I actually might go and buy that book right away because I need to know. I need to know what happens. The fourth book I am so excited about. It sounds amazing and it is The Passenger by Lisa Lutz. I want it so badly, so, so badly. It's, about it's a thriller about a woman named Tonya Dubois. I'm probably saying that wrong. But she constantly changes and creates new identities for herself as she goes across the country trying to escape her past and it just sounds so good and I am super into thrillers right now so I'm like way too excited for it. It comes out March 1st so I'm actually hoping that I can go get it. I probably won't but I want it. The next book is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith and this comes out March 22nd. It's advertised to be kind of like Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson which is one of my favorite books. I thought it was amazing. So I really want to get to this one because if it's anything like Speak, I'm going to love it. It's about a girl named Eden and she's like the goody two-shoes and then she gets raped by her brother's best friend. That's really all I know about it, but if it's anything like Speak, then I need to read it ASAP. So, March 22nd needs to come faster, please. Thank you! The sixth book that I am anticipating is The Last Girl by Joe Hart and this comes out March 1st. There's this worldwide epidemic that causes the birth rate for females to go from 50% down to 1%. And 25 years later, the cure has not been found for the epidemic. So Zoe and the rest of her surviving friends are kept in a scientific research center in order to try to find the cause. And the book basically follows Zoe and her attempts to escape from this compound and what she is discovering in the world outside. It just sounds really interesting. I have no idea if it would be up my alley. But I'm kind of into the thriller stuff right now and it kind of sounds like it would be kind of thrilling so you know I thought I would give it a try and I feel like not a lot of people have heard of this book because I haven't heard anything of it until I looked on the Goodreads page so you know we might hate it, we might love it, I guess we'll find out. 
The seventh and final book that I'm going to talk about in this video is No One Knows by J.T. Ellison and it is supposed to release March 22nd. It's about a woman named Aubrey Hamilton and her husband has been missing for five years and she is the main suspect for this disappearance. Then her husband is declared dead and a strange but familiar figure starts to haunt her life and it just sounds super creepy and I'm actually really excited to read it because it just sounds really good. I don't know if I'll like it, but thrillers are my thing right now. Alright guys, so that was the seven books that I am anticipating for the release of March. It was really weird, they were all released March 1st, 8th, or 22nd, which I didn't realize were popular dates, but apparently they are in the book world. I'm very excited for them. I tried to pick not so popular books, except for, you know, Rebel of the Sands and Half Lost, but I tried to pick some that, you know, you probably haven't heard of, hopefully. Let me know some of the books that you are anticipating this March because I would love to hear about them because I'm always outside the loop with everything. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!